Uh, hi guys, my name is Kapil and I'm really excited to present my project uh, which I have built as part of our web dev cohort uh, which is being conducted by uh, Jai Code. So our instructors were uh, Hitesh Chaldeswar and Piyush Sir and as part of the cohort we had to uh, build a project where users can uh, practice data structures and algorithms. So I built Arkham Labs and Arkham Labs is a DC inspired coding platform. Uh, I'm a big fan of Batman so I just gave it a Batman aesthetic uh, and I learned a lot of uh, new things to build this project. So the tech stack which we used, uh, I think all of us use the same tech stack except for a few different uh, things which I personally did in my project. So I used React.js, Tailwind, CSS, Framer Motion, and Figma for the front-end part. I actually used Figma for the backgrounds, which you will see on the landing page. Uh, at the back end, I've used Express.js and Node.js, and our database is PostgreSQL, and I've used Prisma ORM. And the code execution is being done by Jet Zero. Uh, and shout out to Haman sir, he actually checked out the project himself on LinkedIn. I also added AI to my project uh, through Grok. And thank you, bro, for the uh, generous free care. I used Llama 370B model, and I also added live collaboration using live blogs, uh, which gives you out of the box uh, uh, live courses and a lot of other stuff. And the deployment uh, is done on Microsoft Azure. I bought a B2S machine there, uh, and all of it is and all the backend is deployed there. So now let me actually show you the project. All right, so this is the project and I have actually already uh, uploaded a video of the landing page. So I will just rush it. Now let me actually log in. Okay, so this is the dashboard. Uh, actually, this is the admin dashboard, but admin and user dashboard is uh, similar. And the only difference between admin and the user is that that can create new problems. So if I press the letter C, I can create a new playlist. So playlists are basically sheets, uh, as we call them, BSA sheets, but I don't like to use the word sheet, so I just called it playlist. So let's say if I want to create a playlist. And as you can see, a new playlist has been created. And now if you want to add questions to the playlist, you can click on the save icon and you can select the playlist. I just created a playlist three, so you can click on add to playlist and as a uh, problem has been added to the playlist and there are four filters uh, you can search problems by the name uh, you can search by the tags there are actually three demo problems all of them have actually uh, solutions pre-filled so if i go on to the find difference one here you can see this is the interface where you will actually code so these are all the uh, test cases examples and here you will actually code there is a run button which would actually run the code and show you if you are passing the test cases but it would not create a submission if you want to create a submission you would click on the submit solution button and these are all the submissions which you have done previously there is the discussion tab uh, here you can basically discuss with other people your own approaches or you can ask your doubts here and hopefully someone would clear them and these are the hints. So apart from this stuff, I have also added an AI assistant. Uh, so if you click on it, so the AI has all the context, which problem you are solving and the solution which you are writing here on the editor, it has the context of that as well. So if you ask to debug your code, you can ask to understand the problem itself, or you can ask for the solution approach. If you ask for debugging event, it would not actually give you the complete code. So you can uh, debug the code here as well. And apart from that, uh, we also have collaborative editing. So if you click here, you can just share this link with your friends. And when uh, the other person pastes this link in their browser, if they are logged in, they would directly be redirected here and you will be able to see their cursor here. Uh, and if you want to exit out of this collaborative, you just click here again. There is support for three languages, JavaScript, Python, uh, and Java. Also, there is a light mode and dark mode. So, if you are into, if you prefer light mode, you can choose that as well. And this is how the dashboard looks in the light mode. So, uh, then if we go to the add problem, uh, so this is the form to add new problem. You can actually even lo load a sample and just create a new problem. I 
actually it is running all the test cases uh, behind the scene in the jersey so it takes a little bit of time but as you can see problem has been created successfully uh, yeah and you can uh, filter by difficulties and the companies which in which previously these questions were asked so here in the sidebar uh, where you can go to the profile page uh, here you can see all the stats and figures so this shows you how many problems that you have solved uh, your success rate and the expertise right now it shows demo because uh, I have actually uh, we have actually solved the demo problem so it would show you that this tag uh, your, your expertise lies in this tag but uh, it is not the case right now and this is a heat map uh, similar to github and lead code you can see the submissions on uh, sunday june 8 we made three submissions and so on so forth uh, these are also solved problems uh, as you can see we have two solved problems and here you would it would also show you how many easy medium and hard have you solved this is the streak uh, and the longest streak and the last activity. This is the submission history. You can see all your submissions here. If you want to see the code which you wrote, you can also see that there is syntax highlighting too. Uh, and the input, the output, how much memory was used and the execution time. So you can see the submission history here as well. And you can filter it as well, the accepted answers, uh, the wrong answers. So next we have the playlist, here as you can see we have three playlists, if you click on a playlist you can see all the problems in the playlist, you can directly solve them from here, you can either edit the playlist, you can change its name, so let's say if I name it playlist 99 and I'll save the changes, you can see playlist 99 uh, and you can also delete a playlist. Uh, now if we go on to the save problem, so these are the problems which you can save for a revision. Uh, so if you wanna, you know, if you like a problem and you want to revise it later on, you can save and it will appear right here. So yeah, that was my project guys. I actually really enjoyed making this project. Uh, learned a lot of new stuff, uh, learned a backend really in depth and even the deployment part, how to use PM2 and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, cheers, see you guys in the next one.